We all know the brand G-Scale, right? They make really great memory products, also storage devices, and they even have a gaming lineup, headset, keyboard, and mice. But recently, they launched a new TKL keyboard. This over here is the KM360, and it's available in either white or black. But since I'm gonna be building a beautiful, minimalistic, all-white gaming setup, I thought I'd pick up the white one and review in this video. Uh, I've been using this for about two weeks, and here are my thoughts on this. So the KM360 is a compact 10 keyless mechanical keyboard using Cherry MX Red switches. As you know, that is my favorite switch type. It doesn't come with a wrist rest, nor does it come with any RGB, but each key is individually lit, and these get pretty bright. You can control the brightness with the FN and the arrow keys or leave them completely off. So the back plate is made out of plastic, but the top plate is made out of aluminum. Uh, there is no noticeable bowing or flexing. This thing is built like a tank. The keycaps have a contoured shape to it for comfortable typing. They're nice and sturdy with no wobbling present. And uh, these are ABS double injection keycaps, which means that they are fade proof. So you don't have to worry about the lettering wearing off anytime soon. All the keys are spaced nicely and I didn't run into any issues reaching any of them while typing. However, I do wish that the keys had a little bit of anti-slip coating because they do feel a little slippery, especially if you have oily hands or maybe it's Friday night and you just got done using the lube. I mean, it's not a big deal. I haven't lost a match due to slippery keycaps just yet. One thing I like about the keyboard is that the backspace has a rounded edge, so that way it's not gonna be uncomfortable while typing on it and pressing it with your thumb. When pressing the caps lock, the LED lighting will get 50% brighter to indicate that it is pressed. And the same goes for the Windows lock key and the scroll lock as well. The keyboard does come with a detachable USB Type-C cable, which is great in case you need to replace it after it getting worn out or possibly damaged. Of course, it's also gonna be great for travel because of the compact size, and you can even disconnect the cable, that way it doesn't get damaged during the process. Um, there is one gripe I do have with the cable, and it is with the length. It's only 160 centimeters, which I feel like it's a bit too short, especially for people that have their PC a bit further from them. Uh, for example, in my setup, I like to route the cable underneath the desk into a channel raceway and then into the back of the PC. And unfortunately, this cable is way too short for that and I'm gonna have to buy an extension for it. Another thing I noticed is that the keyboard is very slippery on wood and glass surfaces, mostly because it has only two rubber feet on the bottom, which isn't enough to keep the keyboard from slipping. It's kind of disappointing to see something like that on a keyboard. I feel like it's really important to not have your keyboard slipping and sliding during gaming, right? What they should have done was put two more rubber feet near the top. Unfortunately, the only other way around this is by popping open the kickstand because they do have rubber feet underneath them. Cleaning the keyboard is really easy because of the design of the top plate. Nothing gets stuck in between the keys, so you can easily use an air duster to blow away all the dirt and debris unless something falls underneath the backspace button and then it's good as gone because there's a cutout where uh, small particles or dust and debris can easily fall into and it'll be very difficult to clean or get out. For those of you who are watching that prefer TKL or compact keyboards like these and you don't mind having the kickstand up, that way it doesn't slip and slide while gaming, then I think you're gonna like the KM360. It's built really well, it's simple and clean, and I think it would make a great addition to anyone's gaming setup. As great as this keyboard is, personally I can't use it because it doesn't have a numpad, and that is always gonna be a deal breaker for me. Uh, but anyways, that's pretty much it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll drop a link to the KM360 below if you guys wanna check it out. Uh, consider leaving a like if you wanna see more keyboard reviews like these, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.